armor to tumbleweed. Yeah! See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Come on! We need to get the tumbleweed! This sorry son of a bitch so important to them. Norman Deke Williamson's right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bitch. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know? For his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. Just like you helped me, but you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. And why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his life. Yeah, well, maybe you're right about that. Where you from, Marston? Lots of places, I suppose. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. No, I mean, what's your nationality? I'm Irish myself. You're about as Irish as I am Scottish. Only a coward hides behind a page. I'll kill all three of you myself, I Boys will be getting past smoking, I think. <laughs> Across the bridge. Not far to go now. Easy <laughs> there. John. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. 
Why don't you save some of that breath for breathing? Get these ropes off me, boys! Wait! Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> 